iSCSI, or Internet Small Computer System Interface, is a block protocol that allows you to set up a shared storage network where multiple users and servers can remotely access network drives over a standard TCP IP network. iSCSI consists of an iSCSI initiator, which is the hardware or software on a server that sends data, and an iSCSI target, which is the server that hosts the storage resources, such as a virtual hard drive. Block-level data is transported between the iSCSI initiator on a server and an iSCSI target on a storage device. The iSCSI protocol will then separate the SCSI commands, and the operating system will treat the storage as a locally connected device. iSCSI offers many benefits to storage expansion, such as affordability with reduced storage costs, simple deployment since you can use your existing hardware, easy management with no need for specialized training, and flexibility in expanding storage as you see fit. iSCSI expansion has been considered an open secret of enhancing business storage at a much lower cost. Its affordability allows IT managers with limited budgets to do more with less. The iSCSI protocol is widely supported by all major operating systems and hypervisors. This universality allows a wide variety of server hardware across the same network without restricting you to a single brand. You can use your existing Ethernet equipment to set up iSCSI, and because there is no need to learn complicated fiber channel SAN topology, you don't need specialized hardware or staff to deploy and maintain an iSCSI storage network. While iSCSI can be set up with little or no additional hardware investment, the nature of iSCSI generates a tremendous amount of network traffic. To prevent network bottlenecks, we recommend segregating iSCSI to a separate LAN segment, either by creating a separate VLAN or by using physically separate switches. Keeping the iSCSI traffic separate will maintain the performance of both the iSCSI LAN and the regular LAN. Since iSCSI uses Ethernet, you can format storage over an iSCSI connection as either NTFS or HFS. By using an iSCSI volume attached to a Windows server, the volume can be formatted with the NTFS file system and administered the same as any other Windows volume. iSCSI can help unlock new possibilities for your storage network without breaking your IT budget. With Buffalo's Network Attached Storage, you can run it as an iSCSI target and enable flexible data storage and backup while drastically reducing both maintenance and expansion costs. To find out more about iSCSI and how to implement it for your storage network, contact us at buffaloamericas.com.